Hey, um, YouTube. You know, I haven't did a length check in, gosh, it's, I don't know even how long. I'm going to have to go back on the old video and see, but I want to see how long my hair has gotten since I cut my hair, um, I think, May of 2011, I want to say. And it's down to my lip, my front bangs. When I first cut it, I think it was like up here somewhere. My sides, I don't get a measuring tape, you guys. That Some people do that. That's not me. I just kind of gauge it from where it was last time. And it's like touch, touching underneath my chin. Uh, last time, I want to say it was like right in here somewhere. Maybe been shorter than that. But I see that. That's the side. Same with this side. It's underneath my chin. I already just showed you guys the... Um, the length of my hair on the opposite side. So let's do it on this side as well. It's down here. It's not quite armpit length yet. It's past my collarbone. My collarbone is right here. So it's about, it's right here. So it has grown. It's grown a lot over the past year. So, um, I'm just glad. I'm glad to see that, you know, my hair is just continually growing. I'm just basically, I'll put it in protective styles. A lot of you guys know that I wear my braids or I wear my twist or I weave, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll switch it up. Or sometimes I just wear my natural hair. It just depends on my mood. It depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going. Do I want to do low maintenance on my hair as far as not manipulating it a lot? And so a lot of times that's why I just go ahead and choose to put braids in my hair so that way I can give my hair um, a break from like all of the manipulating of it, you know, by just conditioning it all the time and, you know, just constantly having your hands, you know, in it. Because I just noticed that, you know, when you leave it alone, it just does what it's supposed to do and it just continues to grow. Um, but it's, I can get it in a ponytail. I know it's curled up right now. It's, you know, like I said, it's, my hair is curled up. I know that I can get it in a bigger ponytail than that. I've already done it numerous times, but just to kind of give you an idea, because when I did cut my hair, when I did my big chop, um... I showed the pictures, but I didn't show the big chop. I showed afterwards. So I didn't give you guys the opportunity to like, you know, witness my hair journey. Um, like some of the other ladies that are really focusing on their hair. I didn't do that. So um, I just kind of let, just let my hair do what it does. And you can see the results, you know, you can go back to like some of the old videos and see that there is a drastic change as far as when I cut my into my little teeny weeny afro and where it is now. So, um, but I thank you guys. I, sorry, I love the way my hair my hair smells. I just put some of that. Um, I put some of the um, Eco Styler Gel, the Argon Oil, but I also put some of that Tui moisturizing um, leave-in conditioner in my hair as well and I like the way this smells it just you know it has like a I don't know I'm trying to trying to describe it it's like a really distinctive smell I, I, I don't I can't think of what it smells like off the back that you guys would understand oh maybe that's what it is honeysuckle honeysuckle um, is what it smells like so I put some of that in my hair and all right. So anyways, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.